Welsh. I'm Amy Henderson. And this is Channel Nomics in the Margins, and we're coming to you from Dana Point, California, where Channel Focus is happening. And Amy and I have just spent the past two days with a couple of hundred of channel chiefs and leaders and practitioners talking about the issues and the challenges that everyone here faces in the business. And one topic just keeps coming back up, which is really getting alignment and productivity with your partners, right Amy? Yeah, and, and a part of that is really understanding where your partners fit within your program, uh, where where are they buying? What is propelling them to do business with you? What is their what is their uh, their ICP, and how are they catering to that? And how can you enable your teams to both not only enable your your partners, to, but be able to make your partners really look good? And really, what makes a good partner? Well, I think it's also comes down to one of the things we learned. I I had the opportunity to host a panel of vendors, and distributors, and partners. Uh, where we were talking about this issue of alignment, and it really was illuminating to hear them talk about their their different focuses. The vendors are really focused. They have a singular focus. They have to bring their product to market, and they have to focus in on getting sales on that, where the partner has dozens, if not hundreds. In fact, Scott Gorey uh, at Optiv, who was on our panel, uh, he would even said he has 700 partners. I mean, that's a lot to manage, but that also means that the vendors have a hard time Really connecting with a partner with that with partner with that many vendors on their line card. Well, and also, you know, Scott also made a great point is being able to speak the language of a partner. There are so many uh, partner programs out there that don't necessarily speak and know the language of their partners and what is important to them, and and more importantly, how their partners prioritize them as a vendor um, in terms of who they work with, why they work with them. I mean, we often say at Channelnomics, somebody's. Uh, 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 best partner may be somebody else's worst partner and vice versa. So yeah. so how do you understand that? Yeah. I, I, think, I, I think, you know, Frank Rush from Cato Networks and Kim King from Hitachi Fonterra, who are also on the panel, you know, they spoke eloquently about this. They talked about how they have to wake up every morning. They have to think about being focused on achieving mutually beneficial results with their partners and really driving their programs towards simplicity that allows them and the partners to act with efficiency and expediency. And I think that that's one of the things that also carries through uh, in these conversations is that this is not a one and done exercise. Building, managing, uh, and maintaining these relationships, these go-to-market relationships with partners, whether it's a few dozen partners or a few thousand partners, really does require continuous effort and yeah. continuous improvement. Well, one of the things that I love that Kim said is that she wakes up every morning with one goal in mind. Yeah. How am I gonna make it easier for my partners to do business with us? How am I gonna make it, how am I gonna uh, propose simplicity, right? Because what we find is that if partners gravitate towards vendors that are easy to do business with, because even if they make you know, less margin or less money, um, they will do business with you more often because they can turn, they can, uh, they can increase volume and turn profits faster. So if they know how to make money with you, how to do business with you, and you and they get you, and you can get them the knowledge that you want by uh, really educating, enable you know your partner account managers or channel account managers, um, that makes a huge difference. It does make a huge difference, and don't <coughs> underestimate the importance of ease of doing business. The two biggest drivers of partner productivity and influence in their behavior, number one, is ease of doing business. It tops out over any level of incentives of being, incentives or promotions that are being offered. The number two thing is the relationship with the channel account manager, no matter what you call them, whether they're a partner or a channel account manager, it doesn't matter. It's the people who are on the front lines working with the partners that really do make the difference. Well, look. Amy and I are going to be wrapping up here at Channel Focus, um, and if you know, check out the other stuff that's going to be coming out of this event. Uh, there's going to be a lot more conversations. Go on LinkedIn; you can see a lot of comments about what's been happening here. Um, but until next time, you know, please hit like, hit subscribe for In the Margins. Uh, if you like what we're doing here, also go check out our other podcast, Changing Channels and the Network Effect, and all the great information we have at ChannelNomics.com. Again, until next time, I'm Larry Walsh. I'm Amy Henderson.